What's the difference between a freebie and a lead magnet? And which one is better? You've been hearing, give something for free, get people's email addresses. I want to talk about why this is not a good idea and what to do instead so that you can actually get the well-targeted quality leads you need. I created a cheat sheet laying out everything I want to talk about in this video today. So if you want a copy of the cheat sheet with the strategy, let me know in the comments, drop me an emoji, and I'll send it to your DM, no email or opt-in required. If we haven't met yet, I'm Karma Hunter, brand mentor and a conversion strategist. I help online coaches create a flagship program and plan their launches with evergreen systems and strategies so that they can scale to 10K months without social media burnout. In today's video, we're talking about the difference between a freebie and a lead magnet. And I wanna talk about which one is the best. Don't miss out my weekly videos about coaching, how to get clients, and online marketing. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get the latest notifications. And don't forget to check out the description in my videos so that you can get some free resources. Please like this video. It lets me know that you get value out of it and helps me keep making these videos for you. Recently, I created a piece of content and I've been getting some comments that most people agree that a free training may be the best idea. I wanna talk about this as well, so I'll walk you through step by step. Let's first talk about what a freebie is. A freebie is just that. It's something for free that you give in order to maybe create brand awareness, brand recognition, and sometimes to collect email and phone numbers. What is a lead magnet? A lead magnet is a valuable piece of content you give to your ideal client in exchange of their email address so that they can fix a quick problem that they've been facing. So there's a huge difference between a freebie and a lead magnet because freebie could be literally anything. It is really just that. And it's for crowd building. A lead magnet is specific to your ideal client and it is for a quick win. So that's for audience building. Difference between crowd building and audience building is, audience building is gonna get you well-targeted quality leads. Crowd building is just gonna get you pretty much anybody and everybody's information who may or may not be within your target audience. Although you can get visible with a freebie or get some traffic, it's not going to be well targeted every time. But if you strategically design a lead magnet that is for your ideal client that will solve a specific problem for that, this is not gonna only help you um, create awareness or become visible, but it's also gonna help you start building that like and trust. Because it is specific and actually solving a quick problem for your ideal client, it's gonna help them see that you're an expert in this and you're a go-to on this. Because you are speaking to a specific person, because you are solving a specific problem and actually giving them a quick win, this shows your expertise and this shows your authority. So now you can start nurturing your quality, well-targeted lead to turn into your dream client. And remember, freebie can be just anything for free when lead magnet is designed for your ideal client and for that specific solution. A lead magnet, in my opinion, is always the best option because that eliminates those who are not your ideal client. A lot of comments I've been getting was saying that the best way to do that would be with a free training. Let's talk about this. A free training may be a great option to give value and show your ideal client what they need in order to get to where they wanna be and in order to overcome some of their objections so that you can actually uh, help them make that buying decision. However, before you start creating a training, Keep these three things in mind. Number one, psychology. Nowadays, online users are a lot more aware. Whenever you say a free training, um, masterclass or a workshop or challenge, people started expecting a basic training that you will make a pitch at the end. 
So before you even invite them into a training, it's always better to start building some like and trust. Number two, time. When you say there's a free training, we know it's gonna be about 45 minutes to an hour. So people don't have that kind of time these days to sit through a training. A lot of the webinars, master classes we sign up go to the graveyard of our emails, right? So think about that before you start this training. And number three is the commitment. Trainings are long. There are certain times for it. It is difficult with the lifestyles, busy lifestyles that we have nowadays to actually commit to that time if we're not as intentional and motivational and if we don't really know you just yet. Because in order to get your audience motivated, intentional, and committed to a free training, you will need to start building like and trust beforehand. So think about if you can actually create a lead magnet for the free training that you are making. In the next video, I'll be back to talk about how to create a lead magnet that aligns with your masterclass or free training idea, which aligns with your offer, so that you can turn your lead magnet, you can evolve it into a paid offer that you can profit from. And if you want the cheat sheet I created that's showing the entire strategy, Comment below and I'll just drop it to your DM with no email or opt-in required. See you next time.